call, call the Public Safety Beer and Regulation and Beverage Committee to order. Uh, we do have a quorum. And first uh, line of business is Resolution 2018-1266, Council Lady Karen Johnson. Uh, is she here? She is here. Do we have a letter from her? Um, no, we do. She is here. I don't know. Do we have a letter? It says okay. we do not. Okay, I'm I'll go check. get her. You want to put it to the hill? Do we have a couple more? Yes, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Okay, I'll go get her. Okay. Let me make sure we do not have a letter. Yeah. It says we don't. No. No, no. Okay, we'll uh, move 1266 to the hill. Uh, next one. I need to wait. Pardon? I need to wait until she gets back. Yep. I'm just asking a question. I don't know. You are correct. You wait. Yeah. If she can't find it, then we'll do you know you have a pee? A what? A pee. There's a pee right there. Hmm. Maybe I'm going to tattoo you if I did that. It's from my American side of the family. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm Jim Hawks. I'm a fan of that neighborhood. Yeah, so it was about a billion years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was talking about both. Yeah, my Harley's from Zanotti Motor Corporation. Great. Zanotti Motors. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. I knew I had something somewhere. What is my bill? That's fine. That's fine. I'm <laughs> sorry. Uh, again, we'll start uh, with uh, RS 2018-1266. Council Lady Karen Johnson's sponsor. Exempts Los Carrascos. Yes. Uh, located at 2500 Murfreesboro Pike. From minimum distance requirements for obtaining a beer permit. Council Lady Johnson. So moved. Uh, Moved for appro uh, to approval. Second, Council A. Johnson, is there anything you need to uh, Thank you for the approval because this is actually in a strip center, um, you know, with a lot of businesses. Uh, so it's appropriate um, to give them uh, this exception because adjoining businesses have the same privileges. So uh, it's the right thing to do. So I appreciate your uh, support in this. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. They've been waiting a long time for this, so I could have missed this. Thank you. <laughs> RS 2018 1267 uh, sponsors Councilman Scott Davis. Exempts Pelican and Pig located at 10 Jerry Galton Avenue from the minimum distance requirements for obtaining a beer permit. Is it a letter? So moved. No letter. Unless you want to move it to the top, to the hill. Uh, we can move that to the hill. <laughs> well, I don't think he's here. Let me see. Let me check. I believe we have to wait. The next one. Let's see what we You made me laugh. That's what they said earlier, is that they can't track the auto. They don't know as far as that's who we're looking for. We now do. We do have a letter. Oh, he does have a letter? She just brought it in. Okay. Okay, we, okay, thank you. We do have a letter from Councilman Davis asking for uh, uh, approval. Okay. So, uh, is it a motion? It's been moved and seconded. Okay. Uh, in discussion? It's just a 100 foot thing. Yep. On Gallatin Road? For beer permit. Any more beer on that Gallatin Road? <laughs> I'm with that. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Yep. Opposed? Passes. Okay, resolution RS 2018. 1252, uh, Councilman Davis, Anthony Davis, and Councilman Withers exempts Nontail located at 1601A Riverside Drive from the minimum distance requirements for obtaining a beer permit. There is a letter, letter requesting approval. Is that a motion? So moved. Second. Second. Any discussion? What's this again? I apologize. Same no. thing? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Same thing. 1601A Riverside Drive. Oh, okay. And which district is that? That's Councilman uh, Anthony seven. Davis. Okay. And yeah. Withers. Great. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Uh, no discussion. All in favor? Aye. Yeah. Opposed? Passes. 
Resolution 2018-1271, Council Lady Virtue and, Ro and Councilman Roberts, Council Lady Roberts, um, accepts a grant from State Farm to the Nashville Fire Department for the acquisition and training of an accelerant detection K-9 team. A motion? So moved. Second. Uh, Is there anyone letter for approval, so any discussion? Is there anyone here to speak to it? Fire Department. Mm -hmm. okay. What's the letter say? It's like we're getting a nice puppy dog, so. Yeah, um, stand by. As long as we don't keep him out above 85 degrees, he's going to be okay. Just says asking if she would not be able to attend and asking for a consideration for approval. Mm -hmm. Council Lady Mary Carolyn Roberts. Okay, definitely approval. It just would have been nice to hear more about the program, yeah. but I would not. Approve. I tell you, if you've ever seen these canines work, it's amazing. Ellie. It is. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'd love to hear more about yeah. that. But yeah. And it's expensive, so it's good to yep. uh, uh, good they don't, get a grant. They don't mind the heat. <laughs> that's right, they train in the heat. Mm -hmm. Full turnout gear, I bet. I wonder yeah. what that puppy dog looks like in that gear. They probably fit. With boots, the whole bit. Okay. All for approval. Yep. Mm -hmm. Any opposed? No. Motion passes. BL 2018-1200, Councilman Hastings and O'Connell refers to uh, amends the Metro Codes of Law regarding hotels and rooming houses. Councilman Hastings and O'Connell, there is a letter uh, asking for approval. Do I have a motion? Is this, what's this one on? Is this the credit card receipt one? No, I don't know. So what? I just was curious to know what triggered this. Why you have to take something? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that's it. I don't know if that's it. It is. That's it. what it's it is. is. Yeah. I just wanted uh, to hear more about I it. I don't know. I don't know. I, you know, this one is. Uh, there's a lot of questions. Uh, Which one is this? This is 1,200. Uh, the sponsor had requested legislation stemming from the fact that. Um, it's his understanding that there was a lot of uh, criminal activity associated with hotels that accepted cash only um, and had some, some data indicating that. So he requested that those hotels that accept cash only uh, accept a secondary form of payment, credit card checks, something that creates a record or receipt. Uh, that the hotel be required to provide the receipt of the transactions instead of just taking the cash and having no record and to maintain those records. Um, the only other question we had gotten on this last time was the specific definition of rooming house, which is defined in the code. That is admittedly a bit of a relic. Uh, uh, it has not kept pace with uh, short-term rental uh, advent and so forth, that's probably deserving of a separate ordinance to update that definition, but that's throughout the chapter. He simply wanted this this specific fix. Um, so, but how does it, I'm trying to see how does that, the fact that they can use credit cards versus the people who still want to use cash, use cash, what does that help? If they use cash, they have to be provided a receipt, and the hotel has to maintain a record of that receipt. Okay, because now they don't have they don't have to get right. receipts. It is not unusual okay, for the police to show up to find that you know a perpetrator who stated this hotel is long gone, and the hotel has no record of who it was, when he was there, no receipt, no cash. Transfer. Okay, so now but they have to you, have receipts. But if you if they provide receipts, say if I pay with cash, I provide a receipt. That's just. This gentleman paid with 20 bucks. Right. Like, so you probably got a date and time uh, and location, but probably not much more than that. On the other hand, that's 100% more than you have now. Yeah. Which I think we would know that anyway. It's like, yeah, room 415. We're here to see about 415. Yes, it was rented last night. We would know that, right? If you remember, if you happen to state that, but now you'd have the record that says, here's here's the receipt we gave for room 415. I'm okay with the receipt, but requiring them also to to use credit as well. That's the piece that gives me, I don't, I'm not okay with that well, it's piece. It's not requiring it, it's it, just saying no, it's it an does. option. Yeah. It, it does say it requires that you have to so also they, have credit. So these companies got to, you know, they got to get their point of sale people. You know, I'm not saying that they're, you know, I, I don't think this fixes the problem he's looking for. Yeah, I don't uh, think it does either. That's, well, I think I, it's, I, it's, it weeds people out that would not have credit. Right, That's one thing it does. And also the burden, though, I don't know what these machines cost for the people. It is, it, it does accept checks. It, it puts the burden on the, on the rooming houses and the motels or hotels to keep a re record of who was there. 
instead of just accepting cash and it'd be John Doe? A documented receipt of the transaction. It doesn't have to be a credit card, but if they accept only cash, they have to accept now at least checks. So it does not specify that they have to receive credit cards? So I'm just no. that it doesn't correctly. say that in here. That could be one of the options, but if you accept cash, then you have to accept one other form of payment, and that one other form could be credit card, could be a debit card, could be a check. So is that, is that an advantage for the proprietor or for the police or uh, record keeping or for the, the occupant? I think that's Councilman Hastings' understanding that it would be an advantage for the police department, but I would, I would defer to you. I can see that because you have a lot more information, especially with cards. It's an electronic trail. Councilman. Councilor. Do, you know, do we not have a, a law or ordinance on the books right now that says that every hotel, motel, boarding house, whatever, has to keep a written log book of sorts? They have to keep a log book. With, you know, name, address, some kind of contact information, and right. how many nights they stayed? I came up with, I believe, Councilman Syracuse's uh, legislation on the three-hour stays that, that was also uh, eliminated. And that's what I thought. So what does this do that that doesn't do. I, I would defer to Councilman Hastings, but it was his understanding from conversations with the police department. Why don't we pause this till he's here? I, I think well, that would be the us? wise idea because we're not coming to consensus on this, or at least I don't know about y'all, but, but I, I have a big question mark as to why this is necessary. I think this. I think this might be third, isn't it? It's, it's, on, third, second. it's, second. it's on. It's second reading. I would say we just ask him about it. It can still be. Uh, we let it come out of the committee. He, he will not be at tonight's meeting. We know that, so um, he'll be But he had a letter with it, right? Yes, and so Councilman O'Connell is also mm -hmm. on the bill, and he is here. All right, so maybe we could ask him versus we just defer their bill. I'd like to get somebody the opportunity to speak on it before just deferring it. Do we want to go get Council Member O'Connell? If, if we can find him. Okay. We'll see what he has to say okay. if he can answer the questions. All right, sure. We're not gonna find Sorry, have to. Nope. I mean, I understand the purpose of record keeping because I've, I've <coughs> through my career, I've been a victim of not having a record mm -hmm. of someone staying in a in a uh, hotel. But there are some places, some people that that uh, don't have credit cards or checking accounts. Yeah. Councilman, I, your co-sponsor on 1200. Yes, sir. Or can you? I think there's been a couple more questions. So, and uh, so, Councilman Hastings is the lead sponsor here. I agreed to carry it tonight, but basically, we had some questions on the floor, but we never really did get input that would lead to amendments. So, again, I'm open to suggestions that would improve the bill, and I think he's comfortable. Deferring for one more meeting to accept that input, but I think there's this, you know, people have questions and concerns. That's at some point got to lead to the work that improves the bill. But I'm I'm happy to try to answer questions as they come up. So um, the main point of this, I think, similar to Councilman Syracuse's work on the no tell motel scenario, is I think Councilman Hastings is concerned that there are hotels probably in his district and, and nearby where. Um, effectively, the payment process is closely correlated with illicit activity, and so this is an effort to try to limit that. That's that's really the long and short of it. Well, if, if we're satisfied with with the direction the, the council O'Connell is saying, we can move on it tonight, and then ask that uh, uh, if there's anything else that Councilman Hastings uh, might want to add or we have questions about being asked before third reading. And that's, so I know, for instance, Council Lady Allen had raised this question of should we still allow, um, you know, a given form of payment, but again, I feel like, okay, I, I'm happy to accept an amendment, but I feel like I know the, the spirit in which Councilman Hastings was offering this bill, I think he's pretty comfortable with it, but would also accept friendly amendments. We just didn't get any, so. Then I renew my motion to just pass it. 
pass it. And it is ref uh, amendable in third reading? Nope. But you can suspend rules and offer the amendment. Nope. Yeah, if we needed to do something that was effectively housekeeping or something, I think I think Councilman Hastings would be totally amenable. To okay. Do we have a second on the move for passing? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Put me, put me as not voting. Okay. Well, that's taken off. Is it? That's a resolution. No ordinance. Person. It's an ordinance. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And this. Put me down as not voting. I have idea though. I'm trying to clean up the crime out of your neighborhood. Okay. I just don't see it. it. To me, it's unnecessary. Okay. But let's have that discussion in open chambers. We have a substitute bill, Councilman Elrod. Bill 2018-1202, amends the Metro Code of Laws to regulate dockless bicycle and scooter operators and to establish a permitting system. Uh, you have a motion? So uh, I move the Free Bird Act. And as a substitute. Uh, I would ask for, reluctantly, a one-meeting deferral. One-meeting deferral. We have a second. Oh, we have a motion. Since he is not, we need a motion. Yeah, I would ask for I, one. I, I, I make a motion to defer this for one meeting as per the sponsor's request. Second. Second. Yes, sir. Second. All in favor? Yep. Aye. Opposed? Okay, one meeting defer. Thank you all. Thank you. I believe that concludes the... Thank you, Mr. Oh, Chair. Uh, yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for being here. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on, Councilman. I don't see one. What did we forget? I see all the uh, letters. 1203, 1247, and 1248. Oh, hold on four. a minute. There's a substitute. Hmm. I don't see a page four in the whole pile. There's one. I'm going to take it apart and all spread out. Two. Three. Oh, those threes. Nada. Do you have a second? Are you done if you're not? We can mention tourism. Three. We need a quorum. I know. Better. Let's see if we can figure this one out. And if you need to call me back. And this is a substitute. I'm sorry. Uh, well, you've got. Uh, Let me substitute 1203, 1247, and 1248. You lost your quorum, but all three of those bills are going to additional committees, so it'll have a committee recommendation they could move forward. Mm -hmm. 1243, are they on first or second reading? I mean, uh, this is on second reading, 1203. 1203. Which is the Title 12 of. I'm Lisa. sorry, it looks, I'm sorry, they've got it. It should be in your packet, but it also notes that they were. 1203 was approved by Public Safety. 1203 referred to Public Safety? Yeah, previously approved, so you're good there. Uh, 1240, I don't know why this is on the agenda they passed out here. But this is 1203, you're talking about our uh, resolution or bill? Bill. Is what we. Approved before. That was the scooters, inline skates. Yeah. So you see, they've got it after page three. They've got it as page four. I think you didn't have a page four. I think we don't have a page four. Right. Got three. Oh, I got them right here. One, two, and three. Yeah, there's no page four. So do we need to hit that way? Conclude. So you're good. The one bill that's really on there under. So am I going to have to report anything that's not no, on there? No, you're good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. So okay, that uh, that concludes the meeting with public safety. Thank All you. All right. Thank you. We appreciate you. Thank, thank you so you. much. All right. Let me get this through.